Hi, in the last two video, we took a Flask application, we containerized the Flask application using Docker and then deployed in a Kubernetes uh, orchestration framework. Now in this video, we are going to focus on scaling the deployed model in Kubernetes. Now, why do we need to really scale and machine learning model? There are a lot of business process and business scenario where you can see a sudden surge in volume. The sudden surge in volume can be due to seasonality or can be due to uh, if you are in a typical in a retail industry, you may see like the number of transaction might be pretty high during the Christmas and Thanksgiving season or any holiday season. The transactions can be high during the weekend. Right. So in to handle those scenario, we want to make sure that our model is able to score each and every transaction and we may need to scale the model. Now, one scenario is you can always run your model in a uh, pretty extended and high capacity. But what you are doing is like a lot of time you are wasting your and wasting your infrastructure resources by just keeping it idle. So you want you want to kind of handle it in such a way that when you see surge in volume, you need an extended capacity. Otherwise, you need to run it at minimum capacity. So what we are going to do in this video is going to see how you can achieve that in Kubernetes and uh, with this without coding because Kubernetes inherently supports it. The only thing you will be doing is you'll be configuring Kubernetes uh, to expand the number of uh, pods or decrease the number of pods or enable auto scaling. So let's check it out. So before that, if you really remember, we created a Kubernetes cluster and you can see the cluster size is one. It has one vCPU and 3.7 GB memory. And then what we did is we also deployed an uh, Flask application in Kubernetes uh, and then uh, we created a container and de kept deployed on Kubernetes. So let's quickly check it out. So let me do a kubectl get pods. And you can see there is only one pod that is one instance of the pod is running that the pod is flask app iphone gke and there's only one instance currently right and uh, if you see the deployment you can see again like uh, the there is one deployment currently and again there's one instance of the flask and one is up and running so let what i want to do is i want to increase this one instance to two instance right that's what i'm going to uh, do currently so suddenly if you see like okay i am getting like uh, some 100 transactions per second and my uh, one flask application instance is able to handle it but suddenly i'm seeing uh, seeing like 200 transactions per second i need to increase from one to two so that's what i'm going to do now so in order to increase uh, the increase the number of instances what you can do is you can use kubectl scale deployment uh, method and what i'm doing is i'm going to give me a scale deployment I'm giving my application name, uh, deployment name, so that you can see over here it's Flask app icon GKE. And then I'm setting my replica. So replicas to two in this case. So once I set the replicas to two, it's telling it's scaled, but let's go and check it out. So let me go to kubectl get deployment. And you can see like uh, two instances up and running now. So from one instance, we move to two instance. Now you may, uh, in case like if you are seeing like 10 times more volume, you already have some 50 instance of Kubernetes running. You can quickly scale Kubernetes to that many number of instance. One good thing about Kubernetes is it will make sure it maintains the number of replica. So for some reason, like say one of the replica goes down. Now Kubernetes again like um, runs in a uh, pretty distributed infrastructure. So you can also do your uh, node placement and device placement. So if if for some some reason like one of the instance goes down, so Kubernetes will make sure it will start uh, in a different instance so that the number of replica is maintained. So you don't have to manually code or manually monitor it. So that is one good thing. Now, this is like you're manually scaling it, right? So every time you don't know when the surge will happen to you can you can always go on a Friday night and increase it if you know the weekend volume is that but there can be sudden intermediate volume also. So how you can scale a Kubernetes application in that scenario in that scenario, what we are going to do is we are going to use auto scale function. Now the Kubernetes auto scale creates a horizontal pod auto scaler object that that kind of targets a specified resource and scale it as needed so rather than scaling it and keeping it fully it's going to scale it as needed so let's see like how we can enable uh, auto scaler so what i'm going to do is in this case is i'm going to say kubectl auto scale i'm I'll, in the previous one I, I said scale deployment now i am telling auto scale deployment 
and again i am giving my uh, flask cap uh, uh, the, the name of the deployment and i am telling i need a max instance of 6 6 but i also need a minimum instance of 3 so currently i have two instances running i am telling always keep minimum instance 3 but as and when the volume spikes up you spin up and uh, uh, make it to max instance 6 and how do i determine it so i need to make sure my cpu percent is at least maintained at 50 right so if in case if in case my cpu percent suddenly goes up uh, 70% so it will create additional instances till the max number of instances is maintained so that what that's what it does so let me uh, run this quickly and it auto scaled let's go back and check the deployment again so now it's still it's showing only two of two ready so let's uh, let's wait for some time let's see we can watch what we do is we can also go into the console and then refresh it and check it out so currently that is one cpu let me go to the workload and if you see in the workload there are two of three replica and one it has failed actually so let's let's go here and see like what has happened so now if you see there are three replica we have asked for but only two is up and running the third one is not up and running and the let's let's go and check it out like what is the reason if you click here you can you can go here you can click here and yeah if you go it will go take into the detail and you can see here there's a pod error unschedulable let's click on show details and what it is telling is insufficient cpu so now what we did is like our kubernetes cluster had only uh, one one we are vcpu and we had only one instance running so basically i was able to schedule two pods but when i started scheduling three pods it started telling me it's insufficient cpu so what can i do now to uh, rectify this so i need to increase my number of instance in uh, uh, kubernetes as well currently my kubernetes is one instance what i'm going to do is i'm going to increase the number of instances to uh, uh maybe two now for for this testing and see like how uh, whether uh, i can place one more in the instance of the pod maybe i can make the replica three so that's what i'm going to do now so to scale the kubernetes cluster in my last video i spoke about the g cloud utility which is the utility to uh access and interact with google cloud services i'm going to say uh, g cloud container which is which which is nothing but uh, uh calls the kubernetes engine G Cloud container and I'm going to talk about uh, sorry G Cloud container. I'm going to resize the cluster. And for resize, which cluster I want to resize? If you go here, the cluster name is flaskcap iPhone GKE. So I'm going to say flaskcap icon GKE. Let me copy it from here. And then I'm going to say flaskcap iPhone GKE. And I'm going to tell increase the number of nodes to two. Currently it's one. I am telling increase the number of nodes to two and I have to give also the zone over here um, because like I can also run Kubernetes in multiple zone but I want to make sure like both my instances are running in the same zone so I am just giving the zone over here and uh, somewhere I have given a wrong command it's a G cloud container cluster so it's, it's like clusters not cluster just one minute yeah so now it's asking me like do we want to create in the default pool we have only one pool node pool so if you see over here if you go to the uh, flask app iphone gke you can see node pool you can assign multiple node pool if you want to target your resources to a particular node pool but i have the default pool so it's by default asking the default pool and it's going to resize my cluster so let me go and go back and try to refresh it and see uh, currently the cluster resize is happening let's wait for uh, the cluster resize to finish so basically what i am doing is i am resizing my kubernetes cluster to accommodate more power, more instance of the pods i can also have auto scaling on my kubernetes cluster i am not going to show auto scaling but rather than we manually resizing uh, one to two we can also have auto scaling enabled now the resizing is done let's go to the ui and let's refresh it the ui takes some time to refresh so let's give some time uh, but let's go and check like uh, what is how is our uh, deployment now so it's still two of three so what kubernetes will do is it will bring up the another node and it will try to uh, ag again like it will try to retry the creating a new instance of the pod so to make it to three because that's what we asked for right so 
let's see if the second instance has come to come in it's still like uh, building the instance in the back end let me uh, meanwhile one more thing i wanted to show is the pod earlier when you st when we started the video i showed you the number of pod the number of pod was only two at that time one at that time and we created one more two and you can see the third is container creating so basically it's trying to create container in the newly started kubernetes uh, cluster kubernetes cluster node that's what it's trying to do so let's see if three instance of the pod is created still not created let's meanwhile go in the uh, console and see if the second instance is uh, reflected it's still not it, it takes time uh, but uh, let's okay let me let me also check the deployment okay now you can see Basically, the Flask app, all the three instances are ready. Uh, earlier, there were two instances and one instance failed because of insufficient CPU. Now, because the node is started, you have all the three instances ready and you can see all the three pods are running now. And now let's go to the Kubernetes instance cluster. And I think like I to maybe refresh this particular screen. Sometimes uh, it does not reflect immediately. So, Now you can see basically the cluster size is two and there are two vCPU and seven point uh, double the memory uh, than before, right? And if you go and see the workload, you can see like there are three of three pods running and that is one service and we created a service with load balancer. So what happens when, when the request comes in, um, the load balancer will make sure that all the uh, three, uh, all the uh, three particular replica gets the same number of tra traffic so not one is overloaded you can also set different load balancing strategy uh, but um, i will not go into the detail of that now so now what we did is we auto scale the cluster in this case and uh, we were able to uh, basically uh, start the third pod as well so get to see the auto scaling details you can say like uh, CTL get hpa hpa is horizontal auto scaler so it's quite showing you basically this is the horizontal auto scale that is running. You have minimum pods requested as three. That's what we had given and maximum pods is six and the replicas that are running are also uh, three over here. So, so basically uh, this is a pretty short video. The, the idea of the video is what I wanted to show is now you have a deployed uh, application in production or deployed model in production, how you can use Kubernetes to uh, auto scale the auto scale the model as and when the incoming transactions are pretty high and what i have done is i have given a cpu percentage 50 and said minimum replica is 3 so and now, now if you really see like only 1% is running but as we get more load when the cpu goes to more than 50% it will start adding more uh, replicas to it automatically until 6 which is the max number so that's it about this video thank you